Hello, welcome to Board Games with Neuromas. I'm uh, Joseph, and I'm here today with Reko. And yeah, there's a delay, so obviously, yeah, okay. So I I live streamed yesterday, and me and Reko were playing some uh, Mass Mutation, the new set from Keyforge. And in this live stream, I wanted to do it sealed, so we just opened decks and just started playing without uh, looking at the decks, which was really fun because there were some fun surprises in there. Uh, but then I sort of ended the stream. It was, it was a really long game, it was like longer than most Keyforge games. Um, the decks were sort of slow in, in that way. And I was talking and all that, of course. But th then a few people contacted me in different ways and they watched it and they wanted to see the decks more in detail and like look through the decks like I usually do in my deck reviews. And since I already opened these, they will not be part of my deck review series. I have, you know, these deck reviews coming. Uh, I did one last night. That was posted and there's more coming of course uh, as we go here and in a week what is it eight days mass mutation will be released and then i'll pick up more decks and i'll do more uh, videos so anyway i am going to do a short stream now and uh, just to walk you through these a little bit now this one is the one that i was playing and uh, as you can see here as well uh, they have this new thing here the camera can focus that you have the blue text on the cards that are enhanced, right? I don't think I need to cover this because I already registered the deck. And also down here it says gigantic and enhanced. So right away you see this, you can I can see here there is a gigantic guy in here, which was the surprise last night. That was really fun. Um, and I can also see, you know, which cards have been enhanced by, you know, the effects of other cards. Really cool system. I am really excited to the future of this this will be awesome as we keep going uh, because you will have unique decks in a, in a total different way now these are shuffled uh, so normally i do them in order right but i'll, I'll try to just you know go through them here uh, so here here is the uh, gigantic guy the ultra gravitron uh, really cool 10 power three armor and he has the um you have to have both cards to play him and he has the effect play archive the top top five cards of your deck so that is awesome and then fight reap, discard a card from your archives. If you do purchase a creature or resolve each of its bonus icons as if you had played it. That could be really cool as well. Just purchase a creature. You can just get rid of one of your opponent's creatures. And especially if it has bonus icons, which is, you know, there's more cards having bonus icons these days because of that enhanced system. So that could be really nice as well. And I think we'll just, uh, what we'll do is we'll just keep going with logos. So we'll just pull out the logo stuff here. If I had have been a bit smart, I could have uh, sorted these beforehand. But this is a kind of spontaneous stream. I just decided I wanted to do it because I had a few different people uh, in different forums and such. I mean, there's a lot of way to contact me, right? Um, Board Game Geek and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and um, email. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to contact me. And so I got from different places, different people said the same thing. So I thought, yeah, let's do it. So we have the standardized testing, which is, this is an older card. It came from, I think, from two sets ago or something. Uh, destroy each creature with the lowest power and each creature with the highest power. So it's a pretty good card in some situations. Dimension Door is an old one. Play for the remainder of turn. Any amber <coughs> you would gain from reaping is stolen. It's from your opponent instead. Very rarely do I get to use this into good effect, but it did work in this deck actually uh, last night. Here's a new one. This is what you want to see. Uh, free amber and play deal one damage to a creature with two da with two damage splash. That's pretty cool. Especially it's, it's one of these sort of anti ward cards really or small creatures. And this one with free amber archive the top two cards of your deck. Always nice with that archiving in logos, especially. Again, with this big guy, if you if we can keep him out there, I think that's very debatable. I mean, like these gigant, gig, gig, it's all so hard to say, gigant, gigantic, it's easier to say. They are cool, but I don't know how good they are. But if he can stay out there and he can fight Reap, then you want to have caught in your archive, right? Opposition research, uh, here's one that is enhancing with the damage and the play effect is enemy creatures cannot Reap during your opponent's next turn. It's the same that... Uh, untamed had right the last set and the whatever that is uh play destroy each non-mutant creature gain a chain um i don't know i mean it would be nice if we have a bunch of mutants which i'm not really sure that we have in this deck but and this card will come with all these decks that have a gigantic creature 
So it's coming, gives you free amber, and then you search your deck and discard pile for either half of a gigantic creature, reveal it and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. This is just a way to, this is like the help from future self. We just want to find time traveler. This is the same thing. And another one of those uh, stopping from reap and Professor Terato for power. Each mutant creature gains a reap draw card and he's a mutant himself. And that is cool. A reap draw card is an awesome effect, of course. Xenobot for power fight. And he's another mutant. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one into your hand and one on the on the bottom of the deck. It doesn't say what to do with the third one, so I assume it just goes back to the top right. Because you look at the top three cards. So you don't draw them. The, the third one must go back right. So one goes into your hand, one goes to the bottom of the deck. So you can set some things up with this. And then reap, discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. That is a great effect as well, I think. Um, I mean, you can discard some stuff that you don't want to use right now. And was that the, I think that was the Logos, right? Yeah. So we have Star Alliance, for power armory officer Nell, also a new guy here, enhancing a card draw. So some other card has that. After an upgrade enters, play draw a card. This would be really good with some Star Alliance decks that has a lot of upgrades. Now this deck didn't really do have that, but you know, this could be a really cool card. Uh, especially if you can play him and then play the up upgrades, just keep drawing cards, because I guess he will be pre pretty easy to kill, just for four power there. The Curie Droid, four power, taunt, and he can be played as an upgrade and then giving that creature taunt. So I like that. Uh, I like, you know, taunt is a very big thing. It's, it can really save a lot of creatures. So here's an upgrade, Blast Shielding. Uh, free Amber and this one has the Capture Amber Enhancement and after this creature is used its controller may attach Blast Shielding to one of its creature's neighbors. Umbra Alien has two enhancements on it so it has the card draw and the capture and three power elusive it's also a mutant and when you fight with it look at the top three cards of your deck put one into your hand and one on the bottom of your deck. It's only a three and doesn't have skirmish I'm a bit you don't get to fight that much with this guy. I mean, you can fight another elusive, obviously, but yeah, I don't know. Particle sweep, free amber, play, deal two damage to a creature. If it is a mutant creature, destroy it instead. This, I think this card is going to be really handy in a lot of decks because just outright destroying a mutant creature. There's going to be a lot of mutants, I guess. Crewman, Jurg, three power and hand. So this is one where one of those capture comes from. And action, if Kruman Jurek has no Star Alliance neighbors, steal one. It's very situational. Um, if it doesn't have Star Alliance neighbors, only a three. I don't know how good that is. And here's another Particle Sweep. I like having two of those in here. Another Security Droid for the Taunt. Quintrina Flux is one of my favorite cards from, uh, what was it? I think it, from, it is from World Collide. Uh, choose a friendly creature and an enemy creature. Well, it has to be from Worlds Collide, Star Alliance. <laughs> choose a friendly creature and an enemy creature. Destroy the chosen creatures and each creature with the same power as the chosen creatures. So this is a controlled removal card, which is something I do like. And Explore Rover is also older. Three powers, skirmish or giving you someone a skirmish when it's played as an upgrade. And another security droid. So... Actually, I and another blast shielding. I was saying we don't have that many upgrades, but we do. All of these could be upgrades if we want to. So that is five, six upgrades, three security droids. So yeah, this card could be really good if we can get this guy out and have, then after an upgrade and just play draw a card, and then we can keep playing these six as upgrades. We can play these as upgrades on other creatures we can draw a bunch of cards so yeah I, I was talking too fast there that could be really nice now let's look at saurians so three power console primus uh he adds an capture enhancement and reap move an amber from a creature to another creature and what i found that i used him for last night was basically just you know moving an amber from one of my creatures to dracos to the opponent's creatures uh so yeah he's not bad at all but again only a three then we have two of these <laughs> Gladion. How do you say this? Gladion. Gladi Gladiodontus. That's how we say it, I think. 15 power, which is insane. And the effect, effect is kind of cool as well. He enters play stunned. He only deals 5 damage when fighting. But then 
Fight Reap. If this is the first time he has been used this turn, ready and enraged it. So you can fight twice or you can reap and then fight because he will be enraged. So you have to fight the second time. But that is a really nice one. Really strong. And just played stun though. I mean, that's like the balancing thing there. Ludo is awesome. He's an older card. Five power and he makes it so that uh, each other friendly creature gains destroyed. Move each amber from this creature to the common supply. This is very important card for... Saurians if you have a lot of exalting. I don't think we have that much exalting in this deck though uh, This is another new one 12 power Gala tops only deals 4 damage when fighting nothing special with him But he's a strong one at 12 Citizen Shriek 3 power play reap exalt him and steal an amber So yeah, he's gonna be exalted and you want to have Ludo out right new action card a defense initiative which is play ward a creature, you may exalt that creature if you exalt it, ward each of its neighbors. This is a good one. I used it uh, last night as well. This is a really cool one. So you can exalt, th uh, not exalt, you can ward three creatures for one exalt. That's a good ratio. And city state interest, each friendly creature captures one. It's an older one. And we have two of these spoils of battle, which is an amber as bonus, and then a friendly cr creature captures one amber. Each creature with amber on it captures one amber from its opponent. So you can capture a lot of amber using the, the special sense. There's two here. Some nice combos there. Sorry about that. It's an older card. Play destroy a creature. It controllers gains one amber. And a library of police arrows. Uh, move an amber from a friendly creature to a pool. Which is nice to get with all that capturing, right? So that is the um, Dimmer the Scion of Doom Cave deck. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It lost last night, but that was a really close game, and that was a game that took forever uh, to play uh, for some reason as well. It was like, well, it doesn't generate that much amberite. So that's two. Um, that's stealing. Maybe three then. Um, four. Five. Six. Oh, that one has a damage enhancement, by the way. Um, it's kind of easy to miss that. Seven. I don't think we had much in here. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, so ten amber pips. And uh, so that's not that great. I don't know. I only opened four decks so far, but from what I've seen so far, there's not that much amber. It's not that much rushing. You have to. It's sort of like Worlds Collide also was, you have to uh, reap a lot if you want to get some amber going. So here's the principal uh, time leg. So again, we can see which cards have been enhanced, but we of course we can't see what they have been enhanced with. So um, we have to go through the deck to see that. And again, it's, it's not in order. Um, so maybe we should do that first. It's quite fast. And this deck won last night against the other one. And I'm not really sure. I mean, it's really hard to judge a deck that fast, though, just by one game. Also, there's a lot of effects and combos and such that I'm not used to yet. So I might not see what I could be doing with them. And that can you know, affect that thing as well. And I'm playing against myself, you know, since I'm helping Draco. Which means it's kind of unreliable in a way as well. I don't. I think you should play against other people to judge decks. But anyway... This is kind of cool. The uh, new artifact in um, Sanctum, Front of the Eye, has the Omni effect. If an enemy creature was destroyed this turn, a friendly creature captures one. It almost sounds like something from Brobnar, from the old Brobnar. Um, I like that it's Omni. So. And then the Grey Rider is an old one. Two power, power deploy. Play, fight, reap. You may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. It could be good. Baldrick the Bold, new one. Four power, two armor. Before fight, if the creature Baldrick the Bold fights, it's the most powerful enemy creature gained to Amber. And it's before fight, which is good, because if it is the most powerful enemy, he's probably going to die, right? So it's like you can use him. I mean, maybe, I mean, there are situations where your opponent might just have two or three creatures out. And the, the most powerful one might be, you know, below six, which will kill him. So you might get two uses out of him, which is awesome, gaining two Amber. And this is, I think this is going to be a favorite card for me. This is, in theory, so good. Ardent Hero, 4 power, taunt, and he has the effect. He cannot be dealt damage by mutant creatures or creatures with power 5 or higher. So, so a 4 can just, you know, kill him straight out because he doesn't have any armor. So I guess that's kind of bad. 
but it's so limiting for your opponent. You can't fight him with something that is five or higher, which is, a lot of things are, you know, in Saurian and all that. Or if it's a mutant, you can't fight him either. We can, you can fight him, but he's, he's not going to take damage. Techno Knight, five power, two armor, reap. Discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. That's pretty good reap effect as well. The same thing that was in one of the new Logos creatures. Whereas to Joya, five power, enemy creatures cannot reap. This is an older one, but I, this is one I really like. It's so annoying when it's out there, especially if you can protect it more than it already are with five and one. You can really mess some, some place up with the cannot reap. Gisela's Heart Sealot. This is something new. Four power and it enters play ready and enraged. So it's like it comes in ready, but you have to fight with it, which it's, you know, it's only a four. So it's not that. I don't know. And this is cool, though. This is, okay, so this is Gis. I don't know what Gisel Heart is, but this is the Sealot. And then we have the Fangs of Gisel Heart. There was two of this one, I think. Yeah, there's two of this. And this is a really cool card. Really like this one already. Uh, free Amber and then play perch the most powerful creature. So of course if you don't want to have it yourself, but this is good against Saurians It's good against the old, you know, Brobner decks and so on And it's perch. I like that. Just get rid of it. We have two of those um, Another new one purifier of souls five power to armor destroyed effects cannot trigger that is kind of cool as well There's some decks that really have these combos that rely on on the destroyed effects triggering right uh you know the archimedes from age of ascension where we have giving his you know his neighbors destroyed archive the card really cool thing this just removing that effect as long as he's alive uh squire alias two power two armor capture two it's like a kind of weak capturing card but i guess it's you know it can still stop an opponent right uh from forging a key Cleansing Wave is an old one, but it, it, it's really nice in here, I think. With the heal one damage from each creature, gain an amber for each creature, heal this way. And was that the... yeah, that was the Sanctum. Then in this, we start off with the Soul Keeper again. So last night when I played, if you haven't seen that playthrough, um, I had this guy out and I put Soul Keeper on him, which means Soul Keeper doesn't trigger. <laughs> because the destroyed effect doesn't trigger, so that's kind of weird how that turned out. But it's an upgrade. Uh, free Amber, this creature gains destroy, destroy the most powerful enemy creature. Usually a kind of good card. I think we had two of those as well. Yeah, two Soul Keepers. A new one here, Techno Fiend, three power, reap. Discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. Again, that effect. That effect in, exists now in at least three houses <laughs> that I've seen. It's got a card from your hand if you do draw a card. He also has destroyed steel one. So again, doesn't work if you have the other guy out, right? Because the destroyed effect won't trigger. Bone saw five power if a friendly creature was destroyed this turn. Bone saw enters play ready. I don't really like this effect that much. We have Alaka that has, you know that if if uh, you have been fighting, she enters play ready. We have Bramble Links, I think it's called that enters play ready if you have reap this turn. So this is a third variant of that. Mm, could be good, I guess, but yeah. Essence Scale, new artifact, free amber, action, destroy a friendly creature. If you do, ready, use a friendly creature that shares a house with the destroyed creature. That's a pretty cool effect, especially in here, since we have, where is he? Here, we have Imp Spectre. So we can destroy Imp Spectre, which will destroy your opponent purchase a random card from their hand. There's a lot of destroyed effects in here, actually, which is not that great that we have that uh, Sanctum guy, though. The Dominator Bubble, uh, use a friendly creature as an action. I do like this one. It's an old one. Here's a new one though, Dark Minion. Bad focusing on my camera today. Uh, one power and he enhanced a damage pip uh, on someone. And then destroy, deal one damage to each enemy creature. It's good to get for getting rid of uh, wards, right? And again, he's someone that we could sacrifice using this. To get that destroyed effect if we don't have the sanctum guy out that's the thing double doom new as well play you return an enemy creature to its owner's hand your opponent discards a random card from their hand this is like a mind barb and a fear in one card uh i like mind barb and i like fear so i mean this is kind of cool i like just to have you know especially against those dinos again if they are have a lot of amber on them you can just return it and then even if they have you know Ludo or some or, or the ideal or whatever that card is called 
where they get the destroyed effect that if you know if they're destroyed then the amber goes away this is returning them it's not destroying them so then you get that amber also again that's why the sanctum guy is kind of cool because he can stop that the ludo and those uh brabble is a cool card as well two power destroyed your opponent loses an amber if it is not your turn your opponent loses three amber instead so i like this one because it's like he's a bit of like protection against removal and board wipes and such because if he's out there your opponent doesn't really want to kill him because then they lose three amber waking nightmare free amber enhance a capture and play a keys cost plus one for each disc creature in play during your opponent's next turn this card was kind of worthless when i played the deck last night but that was kind of luck i guess because i i went every time i got it i didn't have any disc creatures out this of course this becomes better if you're playing against this because it just says disc creatures it doesn't say your friendly cre disc creature so this could be really good against if you're playing against this and Whale of the Damned, Enhancing Capture, and play Destroy a Creature with no bonus icons. A lot of creatures that don't have bonus icons, so this is a removal as well. And then we have Star Alliance, and we have the 6 power, I don't know how to call it, Ant 1 to 10, any, I don't know, Anthony is what I'm just going to call him. Play Capture all of your opponent's Amber. At the end of your turn, move one Amber from him to your opponent's pool. So, you capture... All your opponent's amber and then slowly give, give it back, right? Drop feed it, which it's kind of cool. Umbra Alien, we talked about that already with the three power elusive. And uh, look at the top three cards, put one in your hand, one on the bottom of your deck. And the Blast Shielding was in the other deck as well. And the Particle Sweep, but actually the Blast Shielding here has capture on it as well. And this Particle Sweep has capture on it, so that's kind of cool as well. Then Survey. Uh, free amber and this enhances a card draw and then look at the top two cards of your deck discard one of them and uh, i like that idea i mean i like cycling through my deck quickly so that that helps out with that i think we had two service in here as well yeah okay so i, I kind of like this card it's pretty cool red alert is an old one where you do if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference that could be a really good uh, controlling card for the board. Access denied. Upgrade. This creature cannot reap. And you get a free amber as well. So you just stop. If your, your opponent has a reap effect. Kind of cool. I like this one as well. This is uh, from Worlds Collide. A key cheat with a free amber. And then Fortune Key at plus 7 current cost. Reduced by 1 to a maximum of 6. For each house represented among cards in play. Uh, this is a pretty good key cheat. It can actually work a lot. I have it in another Inner Worlds Collide deck. Which works nicely. Universal Translator with a free amber. This creature gains fight reap. Use a friendly non-star alliance creature. That's a good effect. And then we have Scout Pete. He's new. And his thing is play fight reap. Look at the top card of your deck. You may discard that card. So again, a way to just you know cycle through your deck faster by just looking at the top card of your deck. And if you don't want to discard it, then you just put it back, right? So and finally another new one. LCDR Trigon. Or power reap discard the top card of your deck resolve that card's bonus icons as if you had played it and he has a card draw on him as well now it's not that many targets for him i guess in here i mean we have the amber pips like this one would be good if we discard this one we get an amber and a card draw i didn't see that at first but one of the service has a card draw on it as well that's so cool with the enhancement that you get two cards in a deck, but they're not the same. I really like that as an idea. And I mean, there's some crazy broken cards that are going to show up. when Because I think it's totally random where those, uh, where they end up. That means that you can have some cards that gets like card draw or uh, capture or whatever in a way that can be really crazy. Uh, so we have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen amber in here. And again, if we discard this one, we get an amber and we do a damage. Just doing one damage is so good against all the, the wards. I like that. And this survey, as I talked about, the particle sweep has two effects as well capturing and getting an amber. Blast shielding is the same thing. And from what I understand, uh, a card can have up to five enhancements on it. 
which is, sounds crazy. I haven't seen more than two on any card yet, but that sounds insane. You have some really, really strong cards there. But yeah, that's the two decks that we were playing last night. If you haven't seen that, and you want to see these in play, you can go find those in the down in the description. There's a link to the um, playlist for all my Keyforge videos. There's, I don't know, 50 plus or something like that. But in there, there's the playthrough from last night as well. Hope you enjoyed this quick, spontaneous stream. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching.